Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first video of mine that you have clicked on. First things first, I just want to say I did get a video up last week but it did not go up on Sunday. Uh, YouTube took absolutely ages to process it so I know usually I upload on Sundays uh, but it went up on Monday instead. So if you missed that because of the change in upload day, I will link it up in the eye. It was a haul video. I'm showing you everything that I have bought this year. But this week we're back to more regular programming, back to, you know, using what we own, trying to use it up with my October project pan update. That is us. We are into like the final stretch of the year. It's sweater weather time. It's officially autumn very into it, my favourite time of year. We're closing in on the end, so let's see what progress I've made since my last update. There are some really exciting updates in this update, um, but I will start with the, the least exciting ones, just get them out of the way. First of all, I did use my lipstick a couple of times, but really not a lot, and it wasn't even worth marking it again. It hadn't come down enough to even be worth a new mark, but I did use it um, and I've, as I said in the last update I've actually already hit the goal that I had wanted to hit within this project so I'm just kind of keeping it in now until the end just to see what other progress we might make if any. So anything that I do make now is a bonus. I've hit the goal but I am going to keep it in but no new movement this month. <laughs> And then the second product that is not very interesting to look at is my Chantecaille highlight. This had an imprint on it when it first went into the project. My goal was just to try and clear that imprint, which I have done, continue to use and really enjoy using, but no sign of pan. And I don't know if we'll really get pan within this project, to be honest. But again, I've already actually hit the goal, which was to just make use and get rid of the imprint, which I have done. <laughs> Last month I took out my Chanel Le Leon perfume and I added in my Chanel number no. 5 in its place. Not a huge jump this month but I am alongside this doing my 13 by Halloween project pan so I will link the playlist to that up in the eye if you haven't seen those videos and I had a perfume, well I have a perfume in that. I made quite a good dent into that in this last month so that will be next week's video, you will see the update for that. So yeah I've really been concentrating on that because that's a shorter term project pan uh, and I know I've got to the end of the year with this one. I did just put it in last month so I think basically as long as I'm kind of into the label by the end of this project I'll be quite happy with that but yeah that is the, the movement that we've got for the first month that this has been in the project. We'll just quickly acknowledge my NARS foundation it goes down by like the same amount every month it's really really slow moving, it was a terrible one to put in a project. It's very interesting and eye opening to see you kind of think like base products you'll move through quite quickly or I thought that anyway. That has not been the case with this but another steady month where we chipped away the same amount that I chip away every month and yeah it's, uh, it's going down slowly, very very slowly but it is going down. <laughs> One that has gone 
all the way down and is officially finished at this update, very excited, is my Davines liquid spell. So as you can see, completely done. I'll show you the cutaways so that you can see it up close. Really, really pleased to have finished this. I feel like my hair care inventory for a really long time there was one that I, in comparison to like my skincare and certainly my makeup inventory and even my perfume inventory, hair care was always the lowest value um, and I think it was probably the lowest quantity as well, but it was also the one that moved the least. So although actually it looked the least worrying in terms of the amounts when I looked at it in comparison to my other inventories when I got into the makeup rehab lifestyle. It was the one that actually moved the slowest. So as a percentage of what I was reducing that by each year, it really wasn't moving. And I was like, oh, this is actually pretty sentient. So I'm um, really, really glad to have kicked out a full size hair care product and, you know, reduced that down. <laughs> Another really exciting one, completely empty, is my Elsa, I, I keep wanting to call this my Elsa lip gloss, what's this called? Mythic Journey, you'd think I'd know that by now, like it's been the best part of a year. My Mythic Journey lip gloss from Colourpop, so at the start of the project I had two of these lip glosses in, I finished the other one first, that was a matte one so the tube was really clean and satisfyingly empty at the end. This one is a glittery one. Um, so it kind of looks, you'll see in the close-ups, there's still like glitter hanging to the edges but it is just particles of dry glitter. There is no actual lip gloss in here. You know, I took the stopper out, I've had a lip brush in it, like we've scraped out everything that's going to come out. Anything else I pull out now is just dry glitter. There's no actual like base for it to stick to. So I finished this, knocked it out the project, really really pleased with myself. <laughs> MAC Studio Fix Concealer. Again, it's come down since the last update. So yeah, I think I'm pretty, pretty confident that I'll finish this um, within the project. So three months to use what's left. I think that's perfectly doable. So yeah, this is a slow and steady one. Um, I did think this would be done really quickly when I first put it in the project, which it obviously hasn't been, but it's still here when we're into the last three months. But yeah, um, I underestimated it at the start, but I do still think I'll finish it within the project with no real issues. So pleased that I put it in because if it, obviously if I hadn't put it in I would have still had it at the end of this year and be thinking that it wasn't a product that I needed to put effort into moving through. So it's kind of opened my eyes a little bit this project. <laughs> Another slow moving one is my Mongerland shower gel. So I swear this regenerates in the bottle. Like I use this in the shower and I, like I feel like I've used like not a wasteful amount and that that is the thing. I would never, for the sake of a project pan, I would never waste product. I just think that's, it's just a bit pointless. You're just kind of kidding yourself on. Like as much as I'm concentrating in these products by putting them into my project pan, which means I'm then reaching for them 
over other products and reaching for them consistently. You know, I don't want to use more than I actually need to use of them just for the sake of making project pan progress. Like, I wouldn't do that. But yeah, I'll be in the shower and I'll think like, oh yeah, I've used this quite a few times. And I swear I'll look at the bottle and I'll, I'll feel like a huge chunk has come out. And then when I come to market each month, it, it's very, very small movements. I have used a bit more this month than previous months, if you look at the markings. So I do, I do think I did use a bit more this month, but yeah, still slow. Enjoying using it. it. It feels like an indulgence every time that I do, so. And it's come down all the way from here to start with, so. Overall, as much as it's small every month, over the course of the project, you can see the amount of difference that we make. And then my bonus product that matches this is my uh, Mon Guerlain body lotion. So that's what's left here. So no worries about using this up within the project. But yeah, I don't think we'll finish this, but we'll make some more progress. So, you know, more progress than would have ever been made if I hadn't put this in the project in the first place. <laughs> And then I'm finishing with the most exciting update to me, which is my blush. So you guys know, I feel like for the last few updates, I've been like, oh, it's, I think I'm moving through it. I think I'm moving through it. And the last one, I definitely, I was like, I definitely think I've moved through it, but I wasn't sure if I was deluding myself. But I am definitely like, we are hitting, we're hitting into this blush. And that's what I said about these powders is, they seem to take ages for you to get down, but once you get down there, they start moving quite quickly. And this is what this blush is looking like now. I am so pleased. I feel like basically like a huge chunk of it at this side has come off. Uh, the only thing is I think I'm gonna be left, this bit here is quite built up. So I feel like I'm gonna be left with like a strip of product here that might be a bit difficult to pick up and whatever, but we've made progress and I'm so, so pleased because this, this was looking a bit like, is this ever going to move within this project for a while but it has definitely started moving so I am so so excited about how much this has changed since the last update. <laughs> So that is everything for this update. We're another two products knocked out of the project altogether, getting into that final stretch. Super, super exciting time. So if you have just joined us, I will link the playlist for this project on the end card so that you can see it go from the start if you wish. If you like Project Pan content, please do hit subscribe. Next week will be my next update in my 13 by Halloween Project Pan. And I have also just started filming my 12 Pans of Christmas Project Pan that will go up throughout the month of December for you guys to watch. So lots more Project Pan content coming your way before the end of the year. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, check back for updates. Usually I update on a Sunday. As I said, last week's video went up on Monday. It was just that YouTube took ages to process it out of my hands, so to speak. So I do apologize for that. But usually every Sunday you get an upload from me. So I will see you next Sunday. Bye. <laughs>